Hi and welcome back to the Railway Workbench and as promised the snagging video for the Hatton's Genesis coaches. Now I say snagging but out of 16 coaches there is hardly anything wrong. Um, certainly nothing big. Um, just minor stuff and tweaks that I can show you that anyone should expect to do with models of this quality. This six wheeler as you can see is on an incline and yet He's not overly keen to roll down his incline. Let's take another six wheeler. Apologies for the handheld stuff. And as you can see, well, he's not even on the track and he's rolling down. No bother at all. So that leads us to think. But this one must have a problem with its wheels. So without doubt one of the freest running and cleverest little um, arrangements is the middle pair of wheels on these. No issue there, but visibly stiff. So we need to have a look to see what's going on there. I don't think it's just a case of needing a bit of lubricant. So easing the wheel out we see how the bearing works. It's a cupped bearing and uh, obviously that's how the pickups work um, so I think it could just be a little bit tight to remove the wheel push the um, spring pickup bearing away and pull the wheel back towards you um, that's the only way to do it you have to do the same both ends so I'm using a small screwdriver and you see I flex that away and then with the other hand which is holding the camera I would um, pull that wheel set out. So that was actually marvellously easy. Simply took the wheel sets out and uh, flexed the um, spring pickups which include the bearing away to make them a little bit less strong and importantly a drop of oil. And I was using Hobby Lube this time HL662 which is the light oil. If you had Pico Electra Lube this would probably be even better because it cleans and lubricates. Don't forget this is the pickups for the lighting. So we don't want to put anything in there that would insulate and spoil the pickup. So anyway, let's see now when I put it on the incline if it's any better. Okay, we're on the incline taking finger away. Oh, and that's with the middle set again. Not quite on. They're all fun, aren't they? That appears to have fixed that very slight snag. I think all these coaches, to be honest, I would recommend a little drop of oil. It really is just a tiniest drop. Actually in the axle bearings, make sure that you get it on the metal um, plate that sticks down uh, and the point of the wheel, because you don't want to get it on the plastic, it won't do any good. But I think they could all benefit from that and it would just ensure they run nicely. I've noticed one or two coaches with that issue. Right, even though we've got the fine dropper on the Hobby Lube um, oil, I found it better to use a fine pin, dip it in a bit of oil and go there because what you don't want is to get oil on the surface of those lovely wheels because it will spoil them. We only need a tiny drop anyway. The next tiny snag is to do with the brake actuator rodding. This is the rodding that goes from where the cylinder operates out to the, um, well, they're not bogies are they, uh, but out to the wheels so that it can apply the brakes. And as you can see by this one, it's hanging down quite low so it will catch on things, whereas it should be just like that. That's quite an important detail to preserve we can't have it hanging down like that because it's going to catch on coupling rods and all sorts of things and it's going to start attempting to pole vault. So what can we do to fix this? So I have two coaches side by side and one hasn't got the problem and the one has. That's the one that hasn't and as you can see it's pressing on part of the um, wheel bogey bearing. I don't know what I call it. Whereas this one is standing up proudly so what can we do? My own personal preference is to grab hold of it, it's plenty flexible enough, 
slide it underneath and just to the side there and now you'll still see it it's still in the right place but it's not going to catch on anything and it doesn't affect the wheel so brake actuator there's the vacuum cylinder there these were vacuum braked and then when that moves it moves that rod which pulls and pushes to apply the brakes this is part of the brake rigging these so all very good didn't really change and that I would imagine is a um, gas cylinder for the lights now sometimes I've noticed the problem on this one this should have a slight bend in the center there to hold it down but again my own personal preference is to slide it under the brake rigging and uh, then we've got a problem so let's put it back up and we'll see if it looks acceptable so there it is and you can clearly see the rod still same as you can on that one so it's tucked up nicely out of the way probably good to do to all of them well I hesitate to call this one a niggle really <laughs> the roof's come off so you can access for your decoders and things and your lighting so this pipe the uh, gas feed pipe must be separate from here and this is a little cup and on a couple of them you see it's almost ready to go back in they um, aren't together all you have to do is put it together don't glue it at the back here we've got passenger communication equipment that's what this is pull the chain and the um, vacuum cylinder gets discharged to atmosphere on one side applying the brakes so not really a niggle that that's just how these coaches work but if you want to make sure they're looking perfect then just check that and put the little cup into the peg easy eh? all right pretty much the last snag um i don't know if you can see it but that left hand buffer it's not all the way on the um, on the shank so let's have a look and see what we can do about that so I've had a look and it appears the buffer heads are glued in so I could potentially break that and um, cut it off and fix it on fine but you know what it ain't worth the problem is it ain't worth the messing around so one buffer slightly misfitted out of 16 coaches um, some slightly stiff bearings which is perfectly understandable some issues with the flexible brake actuator rods which are super simple to fix and perfectly reasonable fix that I'm offering you there um, otherwise 16 coaches with nothing much wrong with them hardly niggles no dragging brakes nothing falling off fantastic Hattons did, did us proud with these I love them I think they're fantastic so that was the snagging video for the Hattons Genesis coaches one of the easiest ones yet eh cheers for now